Glenn Beast here. I have a special guest here. Introduce yourself. I'm Danny Harrigus, D. Harrigus Fitness. Um, excuse me, Dan yeah, Daniel Harrigus Fitness on, no. D. Harrigus Fitness on Instagram. On Instagram, what about your other socials? Well, Daniel Harrigus on Facebook, although it's protected because of work and everything. And then, Mostly I forgot my I forgot my pander on Twitter. I, n I never get on Twitter. Eventually, and he'll be on TikTok. As soon as I can actually learn how to operate my camera without making myself look like my father. So that's going to be a challenge. So are you wondering what we're doing today? You want to tell him? Well, Adam got the great idea that we should experiment and try different kinds of candy from around the world. So, so what we're doing, we are trying candies and snacks that we have never tried. We're going, some of them are around the world, some are local. Some are new, some are not, but they're all new to us. So what do you think we should start with? Well, I'm a huge Kit Kat fan, so I think we should start with the Kit Kat. The melon Kit Kat. So, go ahead and open it. We are hoping everything is good. Oh my god, I get stuck from here. There are two of them in there. Didn't expect that and like, movie. okay, so you know how we all get ours on Halloween? This is how tiny they are. They're like half of what we get on Halloween. Very, very fragrant. Cheers. I can definitely taste the melon. I can taste the melon too. It kind of reminds me of... There's this candy I had growing up. It wasn't anything like this, but like one of those kids' sugary candies and everything. I'm trying to remember it. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely really, really sweet. It's definitely Kit Kat. It's definitely Kit Kat. And yes, very, very sweet. Very sweet. Like, I would not be able to do, like, polish off a whole bag of these at once. Now, the regular Kit Kats, I can sit there and eat a whole bag, no problem. Yes. I think they're Japanese instead of being a little sweeter. Actually, I read something that Oreos marketed in China have a little bit more bitterness to them because that's their personal palate there. I mean, me, bitter, sour, great. Kuchalika. Candy on a spoon. Okay, it comes to two, two things. And they're kind of jelly too. I thought they were going to be like kind of like a hard candy or whatever, but it's like a little jelly in the... In a spoon. In a spoon, here you go. Rubber band, nice. Honestly, it smells like that spicy kind of fruit. No, you know what smells like me? Have anybody ever smelled tobacco tar like a fresh pack of cigarettes? This is what it smells like. Yeah, I can smell that. I mean, it's probably the tamarind or whatever. Yes. But ready? I am ready. It reminds me of the the mango Mexican candy. That they put the, the seasoning on that you put on your fruit. Mm -mm. It's not my favorite though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love tamarind. It's a little too much. A little too much what else is in here? Oh, watermelon. Watermelon. I think something spicy though. That's the tamarind. That says it's the spice. Because I, I, you know, I drink um, what's it, Jaritos tamarind all the time. I love that. But with that, a little bit of spicy kick is like, am I supposed to be enjoying this or am I being punished? I, mean, yeah. so I think the next thing, since we're going spicy, we should try spicy. You want to open them? Absolutely. Tell me what it is. Peeps, are. peeps but they're the hot tamales flavored. I mean, I don't know if anybody's been to Walmart or whatever lately. Like, they have peeps for every time of year, every occasion, every flavor. You know, they did the Lady Gaga Oreos. I wonder if they'll do Lady Gaga peeps. Maybe. The only peeps I've ever found that I've actually liked are the lemonade ones. I just don't, lemon and um, marshmallow flavor just doesn't sound like they go together. That's the only one I like. I don't like this. It smells like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. like, like smells, it smells like Play-Doh. 
Oh, it smells like those little heart, the fire heart candies, which is what there are, they're hot tamales. I know, but for me, it smells like Play-Doh, like a freshly opened canister of Play-Doh. Yeah. All right, let's, I'm sure Curtis will love this one. He's all about the peeps. And this is the one I'm nervous about. And the other one. Cheers. Cheers. That's actually disappointing. There's not much cinnamon flavor to these. It's not as bad as a normal peat, though. Right. But what I was expecting with hot tamales, I was expecting to get a little more. Yeah, more inside of the marshmallow. Yeah, I see that. Especially since the marshmallow is pink. Right. And even then, with the coating, and you know, they could have um, maybe they just did more sugar percentage twice so it stick and still look the right way. But no, I mean, this is actually lacking cinnamon. At least it's not as sweet as a normal peep, though. Okay. Normal peeps, there's only one purpose for them. Trash. No, put them in the microwave and make someone else clean it up. Let's see. Since we're on peeps, these are donut shop coffee flavored peeps. Okay, okay, so first of all, I don't like peeps. I don't like coffee, so I don't have high hopes for this one. See, I love coffee flavored things, but I don't like drinking coffee very often. I'm one of those guys that chugs a monster in the morning and gets going. Don't eat my coffee. I don't like this one. Did you ever have a tray like that? I guess so. Probably opened it all janked up. I can smell the coffee from here. It smells like coffee, but like the used grounds. Oh, Lord. That smell, it smells like the instant coffee. Yeah, it smells like used grounds rather than actual coffee. And if, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like it looks like all the coffee flavor got all clumped up and then the rest of it is just sugar. So, I like the similar disappointment to, oh, similar disappointment as hot tamales. Oh, but the smell though, for sure. Not for me. Ugh. Again, I'm underwhelmed. It's more vanilla than, than coffee, though, but I can definitely taste the coffee. I mean, honestly, yeah, I can barely taste any coffee flavor whatsoever. That was a disappointment. But they're both still better than regular peeps. Again, I just think peeps are a crime against humanity, to be honest. So. Tea. Tea candy, moving on from coffee to tea. I mean, you might as well keep the theme. This is just like, it kind of comes off as grandma candy. You know, the Werther's or those, uh, what's the strawberry candies with a little strawberry pattern on the wrapper that the old ladies always had in their purse. It's a lozenge. I mean, it tastes like tea. Yeah, it does, but it tastes like cold tea. Like tea that's been sitting out, like when you take your tea, I don't know how many of you drink tea, but you leave it out for like an hour and come back to it. I'm even offended by that one. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think it has a lemon under taste to it. Well, yeah, because I mean, that's, or some sort of citrus. If it was lime, it'd be great. But it tastes like, to what it is, it tastes like that artificial lemon juice that they put in things. You know, it's just, it doesn't say that on there or anything. They say natural tea flavor, but who knows? It's, whenever something says natural flavorings and they don't describe it, it could be anything. All right. Like cheap gummy candy. And it's supposed to have real juice in the center, allegedly. Now these, I think, are going to be the best thing out of all of these. Oh, they're gummies. Mm -hmm. I was expecting like a hard candy with the liquid center. The, the whole thing is the same gummy all the way through, it looks like. These look like the kind you get the dispensaries at, in Colorado, not at, in Colorado, you know? I do love those smells. I mean, it smells good. Because it smells like candy. It smells like something you use as a candle. Yeah, it smells like Yankee Candle. Alright, here we go. It 
kind of strong. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a clear Haribo, which are supposed to be pineapple flavored. Mm-hmm. That's why it tastes kind of pineapple flavored. Yeah, I, I can see that. And, and those are my favorite Haribo, so I mean, I could definitely eat more of those. This one so far is the only one I've really liked. Yes, and now we have this one. Doodling. For me, three sides of the spoonful. They probably gave you, give you some of these break off spoon things. Also, it's kind of like a Neapolitan sort of thing. So, like, is this supposed to be frosting or cream or. I'm not sure. Use this end of the spoon on that turn the flavor. You know what kids just probably do? They just cut a hole in it and just... Probably. It almost looks like pudding. Can you help? In more ways than you'll ever know, dude. I think it's because I don't have any nails. Thank you. Oh, you're just gonna do that? I'm just gonna spoon it, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna do a swipe through. Cheers. It's icing. It's icing, so. It's definitely icing. It reminds me of the icing they have for the Dunkaroos. Uh -huh. The original ones, not the one. I don't think they have the same frosting now. But that's literally frosting and maybe some pudding in the chocolate just because the consistency is a little different. But yeah, I would just say it's basically frosting. Yeah, it's frosting. A lot of people love it, I'm sure. Oh, I know people that will sit there and eat a whole tub of frosting in one sitting. Well, there you go, there's a solution for them. I mean, it's not bad if you, but it's just also such a tiny portion, the kids would- So I'm them. kind of wondering if they're meant to take something else and like, like a cracker or cookie or something mm -hmm. and just dump, dump it in like a Dunkaroo, basically, just without the cookie. I was trying to look to see if the, there was any serious suggestion. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to cleanse our palate. 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 With a candy made out of Euc cactus, I believe. No, it's eucalypto. So it's eucalyptus. My prediction is it's either going to taste like cough drop or Newport. We'll see how it goes. Refreshing almost. All right, here Cheers. It's like, if you took the flavor of a cough, you could lift this cough drop and cut it in half, that's what these are. It's a cough drop. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, maybe it'd be great, like, you know when you go to family restaurants and they have that jar when you at the register and you leave and get a piece of candy leaf? I mean, that'd be good for that, but otherwise, it's, it's not something I want often. It's fixed paper wrap. Well, if this stuff coats my chest, I think they'd have a bigger problem than just tasting like eucalyptus. I can breathe. I think we have a clear winner. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's no question. The rest were terrible. Just terrible. I, the spoon candy would be better if it was just not so much of it. Well, like for me, it was just like, it almost had the consistency of sand, if that makes sense. It just, it was a combination of the consistency, the overwhelming, spice to it and everything, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting something like more sweet, more nectarish, I guess. So, I mean, he didn't really like, I'm, I just, I mean, yeah, these gummy candies were the only thing that I would willingly eat again. I mean, yeah, I mean, most, I mean, grandma candy, grandma candy. 
the green tea ones are not bad. They're not bad. It's just it's kind of like you know what the green no you know what they taste like. It's like when you know when you try to recycle a tea bag after making that first steeping that first cup, and then you try to use the same tea bag again. That's what these taste like. So I guess that's it for this time. If you want us to do this again, let us know. Put it in the comments of what you want us to try. I'm Danny Hergis, D Hergis Fitness, and on Instagram. And I'm Adam, aka Blend Beast, and also the Makeup Pirate. See you next time. Later.